Welcome to another edition of Talking Shit. Ebola is taking over the world. Uh, there's going to be these travel blockage or whatever. They, travel bans. They're going to ban the travel of uh, a virus. I don't know how they're going to do it. Because uh, even if they stop the people from coming from West Africa, those people can go on other flights and go through other countries and still get to America. So... <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. They're, they're talking about it. You know, the CDC and the BBD and the Kiki Ki and the Wee Wee Wee, maybe this will get America to look at themselves domestically. Maybe we can save some money uh, and that we're sending to Israel to kill people in Gaza to pay for our own domestic plaza. We have a plethora of things that we can finally start financing for ourselves. All the money that we're spending on the fucking bazookas, now we can do what we need to do for those fucked up suits us. You know, the suits they wear for the motherfucker. And then this lady, they keep moving her around. She got Ebola. You know what? Let me tell you something. This stuff is not like drinking Coca-Cola. We don't even get the raw footage of uh, the disaster and the, horrific, the horrifying aspects of this disease. Our, our media, uh, the corporate media, is hiding a lot of this stuff. You know, how many people are dying from this stuff? I don't think the numbers are accurate. You know, they're not telling us exactly what uh, the danger of this stuff is. So, you know, I'm glad that America gets to finally spend some fucking money on its own country. I'm glad that we can focus on that border and immigration. I'm saddened by the devastation don't get me wrong, I'm not sitting here being a, 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 an asshole, but I, to some extent for some people. <laughs> but I just really want them, the American government, Congress, you know, the Senate, you know, maybe they can finally get together and, and not be such an asshole about spending money on us who live here. See, the people who are from America. See, the ones that are the veterans that have to travel 400 miles for medical assistance. Veterans that have already fought in war for these motherfuckers. You know, when is Halliburton going to help out around here? You know, uh, I, I just, I'm just glad that finally the government is being forced to use American tax dollars on Americans. You know, help us with this shit. Ebola, you know, may be a package for finally dealing with our own fucking shit. We need to deal with our own stuff in America. What about our own stuff? What about us? What about Ferguson? What about that border down there? You know, what about it? Shit. You know, send a thousand troops to hand out some food in Mississippi. Shit. What about Atlanta, Georgia? What about Chicago? What about Lodi, California? What about the water shortage? What about the money that we're shipping over in the fucking bombs? You know, ISIS is out of control from what I'm hearing. They have uh, advanced in some territories and stuff. You know what? I, to be honest, I really don't want to say this, but and I know a lot of the conservatives and the neocons don't agree with me. Uh, they ain't got to listen to my ass, but leave them fucking people alone, man. Let me tell you something. You want to save some money? You know what? You want to deal with... You know, they say, if we don't quit... If we quit fucking with these people, they somehow are going to sneak over here and get us. You know what? Ebola is already on its way. You know, let's get the fucking money together to do a realistic stay away. You know what? Let them have that region. My concern is helping the people in Gaza, and that's it, man. If we help people in Gaza, if we empower those people in Gaza and set something up and have a real relationship with saving people rather than fortifying the Israeli government's bullshit, then they can go ahead and be the fucking new gas station attendants of that region. 
I'm tired of the wages they pay us uh, ethically and metaphorically in regards to being their fucking gas station attendants in that region. You know what? Let them have it. Let them have it. Let them have it. They can have the Middle East. Go ahead. We got enough oil over here to have our own little selfish beast. We don't need that shit. Let them have it. Let them have their land and all of that. They're going to fuck. You know what? Those people are going to hate us whether we're there trying to fuck with them or not. And we can defend ourselves here just like we try to do it over there. They talk about if we fight them over there, we ain't got to fight them here. That's bullshit. 9-11 didn't happen over there. 9-11 happened here. When they say they're going to cut down on the attacks. Well, so be it, man. But yet and still, we're going to have to deal with the fucking reality of the situation. If we start fighting them from here uh, by way of not letting them have to deal with us over there, we ain't got to worry about the fact that, you know, we're going to have to deal with them anyway. I'm talking about the people who hate us, the jihadists or whatever. So I don't think we should send our people over there. I don't think that they should go over there. I think we should spend that money and that energy and that effort and that wisdom and all of that stuff here. What's wrong with helping America? Is there something wrong with helping America with our own fucking money and stuff? Or do we have to do it by, by way of Israel? Does Israel approve of America taking care of our own shit? Israel, do you, is it all right if we take care of our stuff and try to keep you from killing them kids over there? Israel. That's all I want to say about this shit.